Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there where we have a new deck to try out to start our 12 hour stream with today which is going to be Jund Walkers. So this is just a basically a deck built around these Planeswalkers and it's just going to be Jund Control. Uh, I guess I could call it Jund Control. Do y'all think Jund Control sounds better than Jund Walkers? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what we have here is... That Jund Control could be kind of cool. Basically, going with zero creatures. So that's something different. Uh, zero creatures whatsoever. Uh, besides the menacing pirates that Vraska Relic Seeker will bring to the party. Those are our only creatures. I guess Karn can have some constructs as well. But just our Planeswalkers and a bunch of removal spells. So we'll kind of see how that works. I really wanted to, uh, in particular, focus on these Planeswalkers. You know, I like Angrath and Vraska Relic Seeker. I think, in particular, Vraska Relic Seeker is a very strong card that doesn't see enough play these days for how good of a card it is. And so going to go ahead and try it out here to go along with Angrath and a bunch of Ritual of Soots and a bunch of removal and kind of see how it goes. I, I was thinking about building this deck with like the creatures of mine and going Wow Growth Walker and, and Merfolk Branch Walker and Jade Light and, and doing all that and not playing Ritual of Soots and, you know, playing like these and then playing Vivians and Angraths and Vraskas at the top end. I mean, that's just, you know, and so the being Jun, calling it Jun mid-range kind of thing. But I don't know, that's kind of boring. The Explore creatures have just been so overplayed and everything. Uh, so, you know, like they're, th those cards are all very good. We know they're very good and all that kind of stuff. So we are instead going with <laughs> Jund Supervillains. Yeah, that's where we're going with Jund Supervillains. Plus Karn, kind of thing. So even though that may be a, a better version to play Jund, is like you know play all those those things and play Find Finality and get them back and all that kind of stuff, and basically just be splashing for Angrath, you know, just Golgari mid range splash for Angrath kind of thing. Uh, nah, let's go. Let's go with a different deck. We'll go Jund Walkers or Jund Control. So fun day to start, or sorry, fun deck to start the day off with. <laughs> All right, meowing at uh, some birds outside. It's real windy where I'm at right now. Earlier this morning, the wind shook like the windows and stuff a couple of times. So we, we could maybe get um, Legion's Landing could have been a card I would get immediately. I, do, I, would just, I was just waiting because History Banalia, um, or it looks like they, have con they had Conclave Tribunal. Basically waiting until turn three there. All right, so they can attack for four, but now we'll just lava coil this marshal and hope we hit some land drops. All right, so they're at seven permanents. Make it six. Make it a little harder for these snubhorn sentries to get turned on. <laughs> All right, I, fi I finally played the treasure map instead of Moment of Craving. We're gonna have the land on top anyway. This Moment of Craving could kill like an Adanto Vanguard that is important to kill, kind of thing. But I will fight. We kind of need that Ritual of Sit. Hopefully our opponent didn't just draw a Conclave Tribunal. It was like the card that they held on to. Could certainly see that being. Well, 
Well, that... Good thing that we're one permanent away from them being able to kill my Karn. Alright, see ya, Karn. Your patience is rewarded. And uh, that should be game. Now I play Vraska Relic Seeker. Yep. Alright, let's get Cry of the Carnarium, our other two Moment of Cravings, this Contempt. Kind of get all those things. I don't really mind Assassin's Trophy, honestly. That may not be so bad either. Eldritch Reborn can come out. I don't love Treasure Map. I think Treasure Map's pretty slow. Um, could, of course, take out Duress to keep them... Or, could take out Duress, but Duress isn't so bad. As we saw there, it took a Conclave Tribunal, which is kind of nice. I think I may just cut some treasure maps or Karns. Karn is also very slow. Here, I'd, so basically treasure map and Karn are maybe my least favorite cards. Maybe a combination of the two. Two treasure map, one Karn. No, let's just get rid of Karn and keep map. It's gonna keep the cheaper thing that can like help me find Ritual of Soot. I'll keep those duresses. They have a lot of things to duress. All right, Ritual of Sit in hand. I don't have any of my four Moment of Cravings right now, so Danto Vanguard would be a problem. Check that. Hmm. Gonna up upkeep Scry. And just try to help me hit land drops. That would have been a good reason to play Duress last turn. Statistically likely to fail. I need to go get some water. Not doing too much. I constantly seek to innovate. The problem is that they have all these creatures and Dovin and Adanto, the first fort. And I don't have lands. Alright, so that one's a land. Danto the first ward in particular is going to be difficult. I am glad that I have the Assassin's Trophy somewhere in my deck that I can get to kill the first fort there. Choices overall. All right, Dutch. Have a good day at work. <laughs> so I don't. I don't just love just throwing away a ritual of such here. I guess. I guess that's what I'm gonna do though. But I don't. I don't love it. 
kind of want to just play Vraska Relic Seeker, honestly. I'll take all my treasures. But I kind of want to just do that. And start having Vraska tick up. And get to, like, ultimate. I kind of want to do this. Make your captain proud. This is why I am generally banned from gambling. Just get some more value out of these ritual of sets. Uh, King in the North, honestly, I have not played modern since last fall. I have not played Modern since Blue Red Phoenix has been a deck. So I I don't have any real good insights to how like Green White Company is in the current metagame or anything. I just I'm a standard player now and Basically I just don't know. Sorry about that. To the ship. All right, I'm gonna have to get some water like after this game. For me to slip up is rare. Play tribunal, of course, is annoying. It's the small but things that when they matter. ultimate a dove in, you can expect that to happen. Our opponent really like really likes these honor guards. Okay, so there. This two two is going to be a four three next turn. So just slam down Angrath there, it doesn't, you know, Angrath would just die if I Angrath tick up or tick down, either one. There is elegance in simplicity. So I want Golgari Queen to be able to kill Dovin. But then we're going down to three, and of course Golgari Queen's dying, but then we then we ritual of soot the next turn. Should I just ritual of soot this turn? But then already next turn they make they're already at like three creatures again the next turn. It doesn't really get better for me. Because if I, if I sit this turn, they make a token end step. Um, untap, have Dovin make a, a, a token. So they're already at two, plus if they like play anything else. They're basically right back to where they are. And then I'm just looking at doing the whole Vraska thing again. It's like, why did I waste waste the time? I might as well sit, or might as well play Vraska first. It's interesting. Yeah, the quasi duple ooze list you can find here in decks. I've played that deck a few times. 
I haven't played it exactly recently. You'll have to scroll down somewhere. It's, you know, within the last couple of weeks. I won't forgive Probably, this. but... Yeah, it's, it's definitely a fun deck. So we got again more value from that ritual of soot. We have again we have one assassin's trophy. Though if we find the assassin's trophy and blow up the first fort, our life is going to be better. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. No fire, no steel. Uh, correct. In standard, the teamer Vanifer will be a, a value deck, not a combo deck. We'll go down to one. For my freedom, <laughs> a fair price. Already played a land. Kind of the reason why I did that was to see if I drew a shock land to put in instead of the overgrown tomb. Yeah, it's st standard doesn't have any any kind of combos like Kiki Jiki and stuff. Please don't just draw a Danto Vanguard. Wow. That's it. They did not want to continue to try to grind with their first fort. They weren't in the worst spot. But we survived. Jund Walkers with the with the first win. Alright, I need to get some water here. I'll be right right back. I'll hit this play because I should be right back. So see y'all back here in a second.
we can do with this. Um, I guess I'm going to want to play treasure map on turn two. But I, I still don't think I dress on turn one. Gates. Gates. Yeah, that's not a land hooker. Get a bottom in. Oh, you're expecting lunch. Now it's a little early for your lunch. Oh, that's my water. Not gates. Confirmed not gates. They're keeping this blink of an eye available. To be able to bounce my treasure map when it's going to go to the... Um, whenever it's going to flip. Expecting. I battle for the forces of good. You may regret that choice. If I make some Karnstrucks, I don't know exactly what I am. Constructing, constructing. Ever seen water burn? No TG fire. Chaos. No Give me those steam. Hawkeye emotes back. Heck yeah. Thanks, TG Chaos. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. That gets our countdown. Continue going down. 166 now. You see, we have a, a decent amount on our sideboard for this matchup. But not, like, a ton. This is not one that I really wanted to face. So they get to Krasis for two, and then they get to take the next at least two turns. I'm just go and pick it up. So we got these crushing canopies, um, assassin's trophy. Theater may not be so bad here. Maybe some bane fires. So ritual of soot, moment of craving are easy to take out. Um, I think I'm just going Lava Coil, maybe not Theater, maybe not Reborn. So 
Still only see them play, you know, bringing in creatures though. Like they're most everything in their sideboard is gonna be creatures. Maybe not theater. I don't really have like a great option. That's the thing. I have like a few cards that you know I wouldn't want to play the lava coils either. So I wish I had like three more cards in my sideboard for this matchup, but I just can't have that many cards for this matchup. I guess I'm playing theater. I guess I'm playing theater. I don't have cinder vines because I have crushing canopy. The one damage isn't super valuable that Cinder Vines deals. Since I'm not really pressuring the life total in other ways. This isn't a very good hand. I don't really expect us to win this game. But we'll see what happens. How do you get started in Arena with such a small collection? I'm losing every game. It is tough. Are you playing... You, sh you should be playing it like the, the free-to-play. Um, like when you have like a small collection, you don't have very many decks. You should be playing like the free-to-play uh, section. And... Hopefully it pairs you against other people with similar collection. Well, they don't need to loop endlessly. They just need to loop enough times for the Krasis to kill us. Which is not very difficult. To be able to have a Krasis kill you before you take 20 from a Cinder Vines. Or, you know, cast it into the royal to bounce it. So drawing our third Vraska Relic Seeker is the worst possible card we could draw. So that's great. Starting off strong here. Yeah, I expect... Biogenic Ooze will be in their deck right now. Also, ooh, no land and no wilderness reclamation. It's interesting. I guess I said into the royal before it's blink of an eye. Whatever, it's the exact same card.
was hoping the Theater of Horrors would eat a counter spell. But it didn't. They're ditching Frilled Mystic. Card I can't beat. And they're just putting that in the graveyard. Yeah, that's not a matchup I'm going to want to ever face again with this deck. Admittedly, my opening hand there was pretty bad that I kept. I mean, Theater Force is just not good in that matchup, but I don't have anything better to play. And that was the one card I had resolved that other game. So the matchup looked worse than what it is, of course, but not what I'm want to face. Theater is good against a control deck that doesn't destroy it with Mortify. That is um, easiest to, to achieve against control decks that do not play Mortify, such as like, Demir or Grixis. Alright, so this looks to be that uh, Abzan deck that's been picking up in popularity. The Abzan midrange. I good choice. Hmm. So having Lava Coil for Seraph of the Scales is pretty nice. I like, I like how we got to save that, use Moment of Craving on uh, Hero. Well chosen. Definitely hoping for the land there. That's an interesting. I've had some early concessions here. All right, we'll get Cry the Carnarium. That should be pretty good. Could play Bane Fires to be able to shoot their Planeswalkers. And can also take out Treasure Map. Because, you know, Treasure Map can get blown up by Vraska, Vivian. And so can Eldritch Reborn. We can kind of blank, like, mortify any creature removal they have by taking out Eldritch Reborn. thing is, this treasure map is, is a good source of car, card advantage. But maybe I should just take it out because of Vraska's and stuff. Let's try this. Let's try. Let's try cutting treasure map and making. Try to make 
their cards obsolete. That's kind of like what our deck is, is trying to do in particular anyway, is make removal spells obsolete. I think we can find red mana. I don't think that's too difficult. Green is the color that I'm not playing as, mu as much of. Well, there goes Coil. Oh, Relic Seeker. Interesting. Hmm. Tough call. You can see both these cards being useful. I guess we'll just dig deeper, but keeping that other discovery does allow us to dig as well. I'm not really too worried about the, the color concerns in the deck, honestly. Like, think about Grixis Control. If you could just play District Guide, would you? And it's like, no, I wouldn't. So double Vraska and Johnny. Do I want my own Vraska? Yeah, Vraska battle. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the next updates, absolutely. And these Knight of Autumn thinking they're going to kill stuff. Things. Silly opponent, I don't even have anything to kill with Knight of Autumn anymore. That was a quick opponent to concede. They were pretty done, you know, if they didn't have a land there, which assumed they didn't have a land, how they just conceded. Because uh, even if they play another Knight of Autumn, I just get to steal it with Angrath. And then I have, you know, Vraska and Angrath both on the battlefield there. Of course, they could have found like contempts, something like that. When's that update? Is that this weekend? Or no, it's the 27th, isn't it? I think it's the day before the baseball season starts. I'll probably get some stuff. I don't know what. But I'll probably get some stuff, like maybe some some sleeves and some avatars. I have a good I have a good amount of gems that I've just been earning and everything that I don't think I'll really need to use. Yeah, the 3D art it's just so expensive. Wish it wasn't as expensive. Alright, got the Escanta. I'd like to draw a green source for Golgari Queen. Thanks, James. All right.
Doesn't look good for us, you know, with us having coiled soot, this kind of stuff, them having insights. We need to have our planeswalkers early. We do not currently. Need a green source for Golgari Queen. We're going to be set up a little better after sideboarding against Esper Control than we would against the, the Blue-Green Nexus. Yeah, Chris, we're doing a 12-hour stream today. Doing that uh, because we got to a this quick isn't goal. A fight you can win. No time for a break. All right, just in case this Bedello gets countered, or we have another one, or if they find another Teferi. We will meet again. But, you know, they have six cards in hand. Doesn't look good for us. So, yeah, streaming from now till midnight. Going all the way till midnight tonight. I won't hide from the... Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I think we could play a Legends deck today. Yeah, we could definitely play a Legends deck today. Okay, Duress. Bane Fires. Theater. Trophy. Contempt. It's kind of tough playing no creatures. Still have a good amount of answers to Thief of Sanity. Like these things are like three mana removal spells for Thief of Sanity. And of course we have trophy contempt. Golgari Queen. Oh, ritual set. That's the other card to take out. There we go. Alright, we'll put a coil back in. Or I guess I'll play a, a crushing canopy. That could destroy Ascanta. What current cards do you think will be good for the next meta set? I don't think the metagame is going to change very much after the next set. I mean, we'll, we'll see if it will. Usually the, the deeper in you get into standard, the less things change with each set. Because we already have six sets in standard right now. And so the next set with War of the Spark will be a seventh set. And the card pool is already... So basically the card pool is already pretty big. It doesn't... Like one set doesn't usually have that big of an impact on seven other set or on six, the six other sets as well. It's like we're only growing, you know, by less than, you know, I guess by like 16% more. Ooh, that does not come into play untapped. So basically, what I'm saying is that. 
I don't think there are cards that are out right now that that aren't played too much that are suddenly going to start seeing a ton of play. This just doesn't. That's not what happens traditionally. Now, if for some like if planeswalkers do take over standard, that could change. But you know that'll still be to you know it's still to be seen. Even play the Karn. It's a likely absorb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on is it living end over Jund? I honestly don't know. But um, yeah, Mark asked, do do I stream modern anymore? And and I I do not. I have not played modern since last fall. I, I don't know what is it is it living end really is so I don't have any informed opinions there. Shocking in here, huh? Oh, right. Theater of Horrors. Right. I was like, what just happened? Just always lands. Can't don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. No, it's gonna flip. Why can't they draw all these crappy essence scatters? We don't have any creatures in our deck. Uh too late. All right, let's finally get the upkeep stop in. That's what I should have been doing before, so that, that um, our theater of horrors will take a card, and then we'll scry after that. Got a little, little more ways to go in our opponent with theater fours here. They're at thirteen. It's a good one. 
So 13, how much mana do we have here? 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I could Bane Fire for 11 right now. So we're getting pretty close. Alright, so they're going to be able to stay alive. Here, like, you know, like, they'll... Honestly, I kind of just want land. Honestly, that's perfectly fine. We'll draw that. Yeah, they'll still gain life if they attempt to counter. You have counter target spell, you gain three life. They'll, they'll still be you gain three life. Kind of thing. You're just fuel for the fire. No fire, no steel. Yeah, basically two separate sentences, yep. Yeah, we had a, a white weenie opponent earlier that had multiple honor guards in against us after sideboarding. Because we're a Jun deck, so played the honor guards. Blows temper the Even blade. though, you know, we like ritual sitted away their creatures and play treasure map and stuff. No fire, no steel. All right, so tapped out. Draw a seeker in as well. Make way for your captain. Dude, our deck is sweet. Good job, Theater Fours. That's Theater Fours did a lot for us there. Got to play a lot of spells with it. Of course, it certainly helped that our opponent had so many bad cards. You know, Chupacabra, Double Essence Scatter, Moment of Craving. Of course, they got they were able to get rid of those scatters with that scanta. Oh, Chris, thank you. I I, I never put deckmaster up today. I like the format of these events more than playing ladder free sky like having entry fee and prizes and win a lot more gold and everything than just doing the ranked stuff ranked you get a, a, a little bit of gold at the end of the month you get you can get like what like 5000 gold at the end of the month i could basically win that each day pretty close to it let's see yeah let's go ahead and not keep that I know like we draw the other land we get to like start discovering and everything and that'd be pretty cool but Yeah, if I played if I played like the same decks and played like you know like if I played like Grixis discard all the time and everything then sure I could maybe get like to the, the top then you know could get to like the top of the ladder but I I don't want to play the same deck all the time and I, I like playing all sorts of just crazy decks like this one that we're playing here and and I don't I don't know I don't really want to just keep playing ranked with just a bunch of crazy decks and everything. No, I like the structure for the stream. Trying to get to the top of the ladder is not something that 
It's not something that I am like, like, it's not something that's very high on my priority list at all. It's very low on my priority list. Having, putting together the best stream that I can is a much higher priority. And I think that these events and the structure puts together a better stream and therefore is higher up on my priority. I don't really want to play theater into our counterspell here. I don't really want to play duress. I don't want to allow my opponent just to use that mana that they have here. And Bedevil afterwards. So Ooh. All right, no counterspell. So we got Teferi also. Certainly good. And we have the Bedevil for the Lyra. You're welcome, Hellkite. The other thing I could have done is just ping my opponent with Theater of Horrors and get that free land and take a hit from Lyra and then have the sixth land definitely to, to play Vraska the next turn. But it's, it's no no certain certainty that the Vraska would have even resolved or anything. I like just playing it safe and getting that, that Lyra out of here. I will be the I'll take what's mine. So Nezahol, not too scary there with us having hitting the, hitting the land for Relic Seeker. And they only had one card in hand, so even though they got to draw a card, they were not able to save their, I don't know, Elder Dinosaur. My crew is the finest in the seas. It's gonna actually just tap all of my black sources when there's a discovery under there. Like, wouldn't it make sense? I guess there's a Dragon Skull Summit under here, but I was gonna say, wouldn't it make sense just to keep one stomping ground, one overgrown tomb? Anyway, auto tapper. And even though this is a shock land and that's a not shock land, I'm still uh, taking the land under the theater of horrors in case my opponent mortifies the theater of horrors. So Relic Seeker is going to go underneath theater. So we'll just play a new Relic Seeker. Even though I kind of like Angrath more, which is why I put Angrath in my hand. I wanted Angrath more. But again, I, I want to get the card out of theater. Just in case. Empty-handed. Yes, I think so, Free Sky. Yeah, Grixis discards the deck that I do the best with. Never seen water burn? You will. Discarding as Kanta, huh? I 
sacrifices must be made from time to time. So I thought. I thought they'd have another Ascanta. And we're definitely destroying that with Golgari Queen. Well, that's an awesome animation. I should take up Angrath no first fire. so they have less information when no they're making their decision, but they're probably just discarding. I don't think that really affects their decision, though. So yeah, that was this is definitely a a good match because we got to see that bone dragon animation. No that was really fire, sweet. no steel. And our this goes back to the battlefield. Here we go. That was cool. But it's dead again. No, you cannot jump start a card when your hand is empty. Nope, you have to be able to discard a card. Yeah, this is my playlist. You can find it here in Spotify. All right, Jund Walkers is currently three and one. Very nice there. Let's keep it going. Oh, what happened? Should be three and one. That's weird. It says, it says three and one on my screen. Huh. Is there like a, a dead spot there? I just spaced it over. No, okay, now it's working again. We just made this deck together here on stream before playing. So this is a brand new deck that I would not, not be upset at all with a 3-2 anyway, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully Ritual of Sits is really good against our opponent. Watery Grave as a start does not make me uh, very confident that Ritual of Soot's going to be good. Looks like our th third Esper control opponent this league. No, just our second. Never mind. Just our second Esper control. This last, last match in this match. Could be like an Esper Bugler, could be Esper Midrange, all that kind of stuff. Doesn't look like it though. So I hope they play Teferi, and I hope they do not have Negate. Please do not have Negate. If you should Keep up the pace! Please do not have Negate. Nor Syncopate. Or Spell Pierce. All right, good job, Elisha Born. So I need their Teferi. Now, no Mortifies either. No Mortify, don't you do it. Tilt. Well. We tried. That's a great turn six. 
Mortify and absorb. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. Not every Bye. fight can end in victory. Hopefully they don't have another absorb or mortify. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting treasure map to the bottom, honestly. And I was very glad that my opponent did not, when they Kaya ticked up, they did not exile their Teferi. Whoa, we stole game one! Eldest Reborn! Coming through clutch. Yeah, I was really glad they didn't exile their Teferi with the tick up. That's stealing a game right there. Let's get these. So, Duress, all these Bane Fires, Crushing Canopy, Theater Trophy, Coil and Soot, and Moment come out. Okay. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully our opponent starts bringing in a bunch of creature removal. Essence essence scatters and stuff. They're Jund, sure. They they just drew their Karn treasure map and Eldest Reborn part of their deck, but they got to have a lot of creatures. Oh, look at all these cool cards out to Mulligan. I could have gotten rid of... I could have sideboarded out Eldest Reborns to blank Mortify. They took Crushing Canopy. Alright, so we know that they... Well, they're likely going to play Thief of Sanity here, so I want to find something that kills Thief of Sanity right away. Those do not. Neither does that. Ah, uh, it's Kanta. It's not as... Bleh. Not as super scary as... A Thief of Sandy would have been there, but we would have drawn the Bedevil, so wish our opponent had Thief of Sandy instead of Ascanta now. No lands, huh? Probably don't have any counter spells, so they don't have lands, right? Or Mortifies. Kept every single card with Ascanta so far. Sorry, I'm late. Looking for duress, but I think I'll take these. I don't know about keeping the second Angrath, honestly. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hmm. 
No other negate. I was expecting another negate. Love it. Love it. Give me this. Here, your crew. We are life. letting them flip their Ascanta now. A fair price. By hitting him with Thief. Uh, give them insight. I don't like giving them insight. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna give him insight. Well, active escant is pretty good. It does not help them hit lands, where insight helps them hit lands. No fire. No steel. They had their own insight. Giving them insight. Let's see if we hit a land drop there. I already have another one there. Let's draw a couple cards. Drawing cards is cool. Stop hovering my hand craft. No. They call sail for high and dry. Show no mercy. Go, Relic Seeker, go! Alright! Opponent picked it up! Relic Seeker was gonna go up to 10. I guess they didn't want to try to draw Contempt. Which is what they would have need to, to draw, because they weren't gonna be able to ask Kanta for Contempt. Because they didn't have the mana. And 2-0 against... Esper Control and Jun Walkers is now four and one. So already first deck of the day. And we are going to our final boss playlist already. Ground Tick says, I feel like they weren't very familiar with their own deck. We can kind of see that. They did just slam out to Fairy a couple of times and let us answer it while they had, like, you know, absorb the next turn. Where they just kind of wait for a little bit more mana before they play the Teferi. Would have been more difficult for us. But anyway, final boss. I, Maximus, I, I looked up. I don't, I don't. I'm just gonna keep this. I looked up on Spotify, and they Spotify did not have the Black Mages version. And that's as far as I went uh, earlier today. A little busy, but I was setting up. I did check on Spotify real quick to see if they had that that Black Mages version, but I didn't look other places for it yet. So I'll probably check that out tomorrow. But unfortunately it won't be won't be here on stream since it's not on Spotify. Third Esper Control match in a row. In a row. Do 
Definitely want root bound. We're making waffles with that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number three on the day. That, of course, is going to get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much for that resub there. For a second month in a row now. Awesome. Sub battle countdown down to 165. Do not want to see Teferi this time, because I, I did get rid of my Teferi answer in pursuit of more mana. Alright, untap land please for Angrath. They kind of tapped out-ish. No, they didn't tap out at all. Uh, Ritual of Set. What a horrible card to draw. We've drawn four dead cards. They're not hitting lands either. There's a land drop. This could be Esper Nexus. That's a good point. We have drawn six tap lands. Blinks, what's AJR? I don't I don't know what AJR is. Mm -hmm. Wow, talk about rude. Ever seen water burn? You will. I have one black source right now. So if they tick up, they can have their sabotage available. I am not going to sit this one out. They could also. We need to move quickly. I was gonna say I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if they minus. No fire, no steel. All right, now we get to reborn this to fairy. And we finally have a shock land in play. Go, Angarth, go. No fire, no steel. All right, Blinks, I'll take I'll take a look at that one later. Got it saved. Yeah, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean theme with Angrath. Nice thought erasure. Are we gonna steal another game one with all these crappy removal spells? It looks looks like we could. It's possible. And Grath in two turns is gonna be lethal. No black mana. Good, not black mana.
No fire, no steel. It's timed. It's lost. It's Ooh. Relic Seeker. Oh no, that's black mana. Don't do it. Ooh, that's good. No contempt. No contempt. No contempt. Cannonballs. I am the hammer. You Boom. The Cam angel. Cannonballs. Raining down from the sky. So that's five straight games that we've won against Esper Control now, because this is our third match in a row. We lost game one to the first one, and then, you know, won games two and three. We won game one and two last time, won another game one. So that's five straight game wins against Esper. All right, well, I got my sideboard down, so I did last time. Can I... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, Ed, thanks. All right, here we go. Game two. Hmm. And that's good. We saw that last time. Getting Angrath to resolve can be pretty difficult, but Angrath's good. I I honestly don't really expect us to win this game, to be honest. We'll see if it works out for us. <laughs> nice settled wreckage. Why do they keep on exploring all these crappy cre all these crappy spells over? Why can't you? Or, that's a surveil, but. Draw it, settle the wreckage. Or at least not Thief of Sanity. So that's good. Just playing the summit so that we can have instant speed bedevil up. If we have to shock for Blood Crypt later, you know, kind of whatever. They have no white sources this game. Last game they were all like, you know, no. No black sources. This game all white sources, no white sources. Yeah, this is Lord of the Rings. Be impatient with the duress. Want to be able to double spell. You know, I want to be able to duress plus Angrath. Insight is certainly annoying though, like just letting them insight and everything. And have a full grip. I can no longer stand by and watch. This is hardly my worst defeat. I really you know hope what? we draw a land here I'm and we get to duress plus Angrath. Come on, land. Land, please. Tilt. Alright, we'll see if they have another Teferi since I don't have an answer to Teferi right now. No answer to Tef no Teferi, which is good. 
And no current answer to Angrath. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. No fire, no steel. So yeah, they kept playing their lands out. Crew, I make my own. Dude, Angrath and Braska are awesome. I think these two games, how we've held the Jurasses for a, a while, both these games, I think that has been pretty clutch. I think if we would have just fired off Jurasses earlier to get countered, it would have been tougher for us. No fire, no steel. Draw Thief of Sanity. No fire, no steel. We've gone through three Mortifies. Let's just play this thing here. Relic Seeker was contempted, but Teferi is over there. How many cards is this? 14? Oh no, I want the cannonballs to roll, rain down again. No. We're going to minus eight. Opponent scooped it up too fast, though. We're going to minus eight. That is still a win and a 5 1 for Jund Walkers. It's a very nice victory. Definitely can't complain about that. So yeah, we just put this together on stream here a little bit ago, and it looks like we're pretty good against Esper, I guess. Um, yeah, John Walker. So this was pretty fun. So if you want a, a you know kind of a different deck for F and M, and want to play some Angraths and Relic Seekers in particular, that's that's really what our our deck is is based around those two. Uh, as you saw those games, Angrath and Relic Seeker are both awesome. Karn is just kind of whatever. Golgari Queen is meh. But this deck worked out pretty well. I have to say, bad against Blue Green Nexus. We also just had, you know, kind of bad hands there, made the matchup look worse, but I don't think it's a good matchup for us. So there we go. All right, if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Jund Walkers, and I'll see you for the next video.